Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna continue to explore the MLS and what's available on the market, but we're gonna hang out in the Lake Ozark and Four Seasons area. So this is the upper part of the lake. And, you know, again, to kind of recap over the past couple months or so, talking about different parts of the lake, pros and cons, amenities, things to think about, trying to connect the dots on, if you were to relocate here, permanently second home, vacation, investment, where on the lake do you find yourselves you know, moving to, right? What is the most desirable reasons? And then along the way, as we've been kind of putting out that content, you, know, you guys have been reaching out saying, hey, I really like this area or that area. What can I get in my budget in this area, right? Bedrooms, bathrooms, price point, what's available for me? Hey, super cool, let's show you that. Hey, with intention, let's get you set up on a home search so you can see everything that's available today. More importantly is you can see everything that becomes available in the future. And so with those reach outs, we decided to shoot some of these videos just to try to give you an overview perspective of the amount of availability and inventory levels in different parts of the lake. So we started with Osage Beach, we went down into Camdenton, we're gonna come back up north, and we're gonna look at Lake Ozark and the, the Four Seasons area and kind of peninsula. So what we wanna do uh, real quick, like always, right, just kind of shrink myself in the corner. We have the, the map of the country, you got the state of Missouri kind of right in the middle. As you're looking at the state, you got Kansas City on one side, St. Louis on the other. You'll go to the middle, you'll go down, and right by the S is where you're gonna find the lake. So I've said it before, if you are traveling into this area, you'll fly into Kansas City or St. Louis, probably rent a car and probably make your way to the lake so as you scroll in you can start to see that the lake will start to appear again this is just a big lake in the middle of nowhere so we scroll in right it looks like an ancient Chinese dragon uh, you have the head the neck the belly you got some legs then you got the tail that goes down towards Warsaw so again we've been exploring this lake showing you a different areas giving you information on it and then recently getting into the MLS to show you what's available in different areas. So we started in Osage Beach. That is the heart. That's where the majority of the commercial buildup is. Bars, restaurants, K through 12 schools, the hospital, everything is in the heart of the lake, which is Osage Beach. Then we moved down into the Camdenton area, which is still a very good commercial buildup, K through 12 schools, all of the amenities that you could need, but you're just a little bit on the extension on the Southern part. But now we're gonna come back up to the top. Why we're going in weird orders, I have no idea. That's just how it rolls. But we're going to come back up to the top and we're going to look at the Lake Ozark and uh, the Four Seasons area. I like this area because Highway 54 runs north and south through here. And if you don't have any reason to go over here, then the traffic just keeps on going, right? But when you're here, you're kind of, I don't know, you feel like you're on your own little peninsula, right? A uh, little bit of different community vibe and feel. Uh, and so there's a lot of things to do in this area with golf courses and, and obviously a lot of, you know, bars and restaurants and things to kind of explore as well. So I super dig this area, but a lot of other people do too. This is probably the, you know, one of the nicer parts of the lake. You're gonna have some amazing homes. Your price point is going to be reflective of that here in a little bit. And so the purpose of this next you know, screen is really to show you the MLS and just try to pinpoint what's available at different price points for kind of this, again, Lake Ozark and village area this whole peninsula right here. So we've done it before. Right now there's a little over 2,100 active listings and this is where we would start to help you with your filter, right? We wanna go into the filters, we want to take away all this bottom stuff. So it goes to a little over 1,100 listings, but that also includes townhouses and condos. So let's get rid of townhouses and condos. And it gets cut in half down to about 600 listings. So this is every property in the Lake of the Ozark area, lakefront or off lake. But we want to be very specific with a couple of two different areas, right? So let's go look at Lake Ozark. We're going to look at that. So we go from 664 down to about 230 ish properties, right? In this entire area. But now we want to kind of go one more filter and we want to see how many of those 230 are very specifically lakefront properties. And you get down to about 24 lakefront homes in this 
Lake Ozark area. And the Lake Ozark kind of is the outer skirts, the majority of the outer skirts of this, and obviously this side. So the village of Four Seasons is kind of more of the interior structure of this peninsula. But what you'll see is you have 24 results. So that's not a lot of results, but we also don't have any price point filters. So let's see if there are any single family homes at 500,000 or below. And in this area, you have five results. That's not a lot, but I feel like that's a slam dunk, right? If you have an opportunity and this is in your budget and this is kind of where you want to be, then to find a single family home lakefront in this area, I think is going to be, you know, a, a big score. You know, obviously the property has to meet your needs. It has to have everything you're looking for. But along the way, again, if you could find a property with the lakefront access right there, then that's a pretty good score. So we'll look on this left-hand side. You can obviously just get a feel for the different properties. You know, again, lakefront access, you got your docks, whether they're community or not. That's a pretty good number. I actually haven't prepped uh, this video at all. And so I'm actually kind of surprised to see that there were five results. But if this is your area and this is your budget, cool, there's five to choose from. Now, assuming that you don't like any of these five, then it will be very important to get that home search set up because when a new property hits, if it is in your price budget and it's a desirable property and looks good, it's gonna go fast. So let's go and just look at what a million brings. We'll set our new targets from 500 to a million. And we went from five properties to 12 different options. So now we are starting to get probably more into the price point of what this area is. And then obviously with this area, you know, again, like always comes a different type of property. So great home. You know, this is a phenomenal dock, right? You have a big well for your, your big boat. You got a couple of jet skis right here. You got another platform for swimming. This is a really, you know, I think a lot of people, some people look at the houses more and some people look at the docks more. So to each his own, I guess, but um, that's a good looking property, you know, listed at seven and a quarter. You know, you kind of keep scrolling. Here's one at 850, looks like a nice big ranch style property, a huge deck and entertainment space. You are clearly close to a lot of amenities. They've taken care of this home. That's set up for entertaining. So I don't know if that's how big your family is or if you just like to throw parties, but that'd be too big of a table for us. It's a super cool property, right? Super clean, it's wide open ranch style property not a lot of you know obviously levels and stairs so we'll scroll this real quick because i'm really just curious what the yeah this property is awesome what it's indoor putt putt course again anybody buys these properties invite us over we would love to come hang out so i didn't give you a big overview on the the back side or or the dock so we would have to explore that for anybody interested but again just trying to show you some some ideas great property right on the point you got a little cove to the left you got the big water to the right you got multiple boat slips for any of the toys that you want dock down here like this is the fun part of exploring these homes your needs your wants and then obviously some of the uniquenesses and quirkinesses of these properties another great property decks you got a big dock, boat dock down there as well so it kind of gives you a, an overview and a perspective you know again nice big house four bed three bath almost a three thousand square foot home I mean, you might need a little paint, but 500 to a million, if this is the address and Lake Ozark is what you're looking for, you'll have 12 results. Let's just go from uh, 1 million and above. Again, this upper area is a very desirable area and you're going to have the price points that reflect that. Amazing, big, beautiful homes. There are eight properties at a million and above. And then obviously, as you start to scroll some of those, This is a massive property. So I just heard the other day that like Anheuser-Busch listed one of listed their property. And this very much reminds me of Anheuser-Busch's listing. It's a huge area. It's this whole peninsula. There's multiple houses on it. Clearly it's $21 million. So again, yeah, this is exactly what their property is. 
Um, this is owned by yeah Anheuser Busch, and they are, have it listed now for sale. So back to if you guys want to buy this property and, and invite us over, we would love to come and, and hang out with you. Um, thirty six acres, tons of shoreline. <laughs> Super cool. Um, I was waiting for that property to hit the, like the MLS and it finally has hit. So super unique one there. That's obviously a little out of the norm, but a lot of these other homes are at, you know, great homes. You know, again, this area is going to be a higher price point area. You are going to have all the amenities and pools and docks and, and everything else that you're looking for. So we obviously would love to explore that area with you and help you with those home searches, but eight properties of that and above. Again, just to kind of recap the whole Lake Ozark area, lakefront properties, there are 24 results that would be on the listings, but then obviously we want to shrink that search into very specifically your price point with bedrooms and bathrooms. We also want to look at the Four Seasons area. So let's just real quick do the Four Seasons. So we knew we had 24 properties in the Lake Ozark area and we wanna see how many we have in the Four Seasons address. There are nine total properties, but you can see the outline of the Four Seasons, how it's more kind of interior. All this other stuff is a Lake Ozark kind of address, but you will still have some lakefront properties in the Four Seasons. So if, if this peninsula is a peninsula you're looking for, then we would be having a Four Seasons and Lake Ozark kind of search for you. So there are nine results, uh, and you can kind of, again, kind of see the price point, you know, two and a half, 1.8, 1.6, you are going to probably be, the majority of them are going to be seven figures and above. But if you did find something that was, you know, in, in a different price range, this area, again, just based off of desirability and location and amenities, you know, will still be a good investment. So I wanted to try to connect those dots, right? You had 24 on one side, nine on the other. So you got 30 some options kind of available, 40 options available. And then in those, right, you're looking at what price point of home is best for you. We go back to my, my map here with uh, the mile markers as we kind of scroll in, you know, let's go ahead and remove mile markers from it because we know this is mile marker one all the way through but you can just tell just from the dots right that there is a lot going on in this area a ton of bars and restaurants there's a ton of marinas to, to to fill up and get things at there's the golf courses in this area which are amazing golf courses the bagnell dam is right here along with the strips there are a ton of different bars and restaurants up and along this area so that gives you a perspective that if this is an area that you want to be right it's a very desirable area close to all the amenities and again trying to show a little bit differences of what price point this area is going to give you and rightfully so right it's an amazing spot you just have to be understanding of maybe the different waterways that are up there a little bit of a bigger water probably going to need a bigger boat you are in the crowd you're in the amenities and the tourism and the attractions during peak season right memorial day to, to kind of labor day you know off season this would be a phenomenal area to kind of be in but again like most of these videos there is not a plethora of choices and availability there's not a lot on the market and we know it'll fluctuate it'll go up and down and it's different seasons and and all those things will create different inventories throughout the year but again we would love to set you up on your home search so if the four seasons or lake ozark or the upper part of the lake is something you're looking at hey what side right if you're on that peninsula cool price point of home that's in your budget bedrooms bathrooms lakefront square footage garage i need a two well dock i need that like whatever your home search is we would obviously create that specific so you can see everything that's available right now and again more importantly everything that becomes available in the future so whatever we can do i love the videos but obviously i love creating these home searches for you so call me text me email me zoom call with me i love connecting with you hearing your story and then getting you plugged into as much information as we possibly can for this area and trying to help make your your purchase or your transaction or transition as easy as possible. So whatever we can do, reach out, let us know. And until then, we'll see you on the next video.